Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So here we have the latest Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And today we are going to compare the low, low, low light video capability of this device against the S21 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. All right? So we'll be comparing the 4K 30 FPS video because 4K 60 is not really good for low light. And for all of these devices, you cannot switch the lens while recording on 4K 60. So that makes it a bit less practical. So let's go with 4K 30 and uh, let's compare. Okay guys, so let's first try the front facing camera. So I'm recording 4K 30 FPS using the front facing camera on three devices. On the left is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. In the middle is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And on my right is the S22 Ultra. From the look of it, I personally, I prefer the S21 Ultra. I think it's not too dark like the iPhone. And uh, it's also a bit sharper than the S22 Ultra. I don't know why, right? Let's move to a darker place and see what happens. Right? So, yeah. I think it's really noticeable that the S21 Ultra is actually sharper than the S22 Ultra. It might be because my S22 Ultra is the Exynos variant and my S21 Ultra is the Snapdragon variant. So if you don't know, check out my previous videos that the Snapdragon S21 Ultra actually takes better video than the Exynos version. So maybe that's also the case this year. As for the iPhone, it's a bit too dark. So personally, I, I don't really like that. Right? Now let's switch to the main. You can do that without stopping the video on Samsung. But you cannot do that on iPhone. But anyway, here we are on the main lens. Recording 40, uh, sorry, 4K 30 FPS. Let me know down in the comments which one you feel is better. I, one thing I can tell is that the so-called uh, super clear glass or whatever is really doing its job. You can see the there's just much less flare when we are facing a light source, right? It's very obvious if we put it this way. See all the colorful, the red flare. There, it, there is still some there, but it's much less noticeable. So that's a good thing. Um, but from the viewfinder, it feels the stabilization is not as good. I don't know why. Maybe they need to optimize it. And uh, I also noticed a more contrasty look for the video. Um, the, the blacks looks deeper. Um, yep, on the S22 Ultra. But as for stabilization, I can't really say for now. I have to go back to my computer and check. But you can let me know down in the comments which one is actually better now. Okay, let me run a little bit and see how they do. Okay, so what do you think? And uh, this is a darker place. How are they doing? Right, that's for the main lens. And let's switch to ultra wide. Ultra wide, yep. Uh, this may sound strange, right? But I think the S21 Ultra is actually doing a better job here. It's brighter than the iPhone, and it's actually sharper than the S22 Ultra. I don't know why. Maybe it's still the, the Exynos might be. I will do a comparison against the Snapdragon S22 Ultra when I get it, maybe in a few days time. But now it seems that, yeah, it seems that the low light video capability is actually better on the S21 Ultra Snapdragon. Okay. And now let's try the 3X telephoto. 3X, 3X, yep. No problem, and uh, yeah, I think they all look pretty okay. 
Yeah, that's 3x, and on the two Samsung devices, you can actually go all the way to 10x. And on the iPhone, you can digitally zoom to 9x. But I noticed something very interesting here, that the S22 Ultra is actually not activating the 10x telephoto lens or the periscope lens. Do you notice that? It's actually pretty blurry. It's very apparent that this is a digital zoom, just like the iPhone on my left. While the S21 Ultra is actually using that periscope lens to produce a much, much sharper video. Hmm, that's interesting. So, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the software still needs optimization. So, yeah, of course I'll wait for a few updates and uh, I'll compare them again and again. But anyway, that's all for today's uh, quick comparison of 4K 30 FPS low light video between the iPhone 13 Pro Max, Galaxy S21 Ultra Snapdragon, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra Exynos. Right? So, which of them do you think is the best phone for low light video? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.